IET1 Jones. I'm the uh, Water Survival LPO here at Building 3828. Uh, it's part of Naval Aviation Schools Command. Uh, we're in charge of teaching the Intermediate Water Survival Program, which uh, supplements the entire aviation pipeline with their candidates, so the enlisted air crew candidates and the pilot and NFO candidates that are going on to become officers in the Navy. Uh, we also teach Marine Corps and Coast Guard students, same same pipelines, just we, we, we do the water survival training for them. Our job here is to make sure that people are comfortable in the water before they go to a more advanced uh, water survival classroom and in, in the water uh, scenarios such as the Naval Science Institute, Hilo Dunker and other things that they might see along the way. With everything going on with COVID-19, we're still training. Uh, we can't put a pause button on this because it is mission essential. If you were to put a pause button on this part of the pipeline, it would stop and you would see the ramifications of that for years and decades to come. There would be gaps in training. There's only one point of entry, making sure that nobody's running any fever or having any flu-like symptoms. We're taking temperatures before they come in and requiring everybody to wear face masks before they get onto the pool deck. Once you're on the pool deck, uh, been proven by the CDC that a chlorine environment is non-conducive to the development of COVID-19. Generally speaking in the pool we are operations as normal uh, and then we try to social distance whenever we can on the pool deck. Um, due to safety concerns that's not always possible but we do the best that we can when outside the water waiting on evolutions.